No peeking. Oh, I do love a good mystery bag. Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. As you know, if you've been following along, we just got back from Mammoth Mountain. And on our way back, we decided to stop over at Trader Joe's because there's a bunch of new holiday items, a lot of merchandise in addition to goodies and treats and foods. So we're going to show you what we found last night. Um, again, I'm gonna keep this really, really uh, short because there's a lot to look at and we'll come back here and see some of the stuff I got. All right, we're back. Uh, first thing I went to grab was the grump tree. I always want to say gump tree. It was the last one, so I had to grab that. And then I found these cute little mini poinsettias. I never know if it's seta or setia, but anyway, these are so adorable. They have all these really pretty flakes of glitter on them for only $2.99, and you could do silver or gold for the little tin. And don't worry, they got you covered if you want a large or medium pot of the poinsettia flowers. Um, I think they are pretty decent priced for how much of uh, the plant you get. And I love the color variations. The pink, I think, is my favorite, even though the classic red is great too. But um, the pink is just gorgeous. And then I found these cute little mini Christmas trees um, in a little tin. They called them tabletop trees and they were only 20 bucks. I love the little bow. I thought that was just adorable. Something great to have for 20 bucks. You can't really um, argue that. And I included the little instructions there in case anybody wanted to see. Then Spencer and I found the swag with a bow and then the centerpiece wreath. I picked up the swag with the bow and I got like sap on me, so I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, the wreath is really cute and it's all fresh and oh my gosh, I tried to like focus here so you can kind of get an up close. Oh, so cute. Here's the cedar garland that we found. It says it was eight feet long. I think I want to get that now. They were sadly out of the pine cone wreaths, but I suspect they're in that box below and I just didn't want to go rummaging through their stuff. This is what happens when you come late night. Speaking of trees with beautiful glitter all over it, here is these cute little mini trees that are back. I kind of regret not buying one now that I'm watching this footage right now. And for only $4.99, that's a really good deal. These have been really popular too. For $3.99, they're cute little, I don't know, pine cone assortment. <laughs> Smelled really good too. And for $8.99, this was really great. This is like a rosemary bush, but it is in the shape of a tree. And you could do it in gold there, beige gold, or a red base. Now this over here, I don't remember seeing this last year, so I was immediately like drawn to it. It's a decorate your own tree and it's with clothes pins how adorable is that and i was reading it says the tree can grow really like crazy big too so this might be a keeper for 7.99 these also caught my eye they are newspaper hand woven little baskets um, i like that it's recycled pretty cool to have i would just be afraid it would catch on fire so because <laughs> that's where i would put it is by the fireplace uh, and then there's still tons of the felted wool garland. This stuff is really popular. I think that would actually look really pretty with um, the actual, like with actually combining it with other decorations because it's so colorful. They also have this set of the virgin, extra virgin olive oils. So that's something cool to get if you're interested. And I was really excited to get these. They are the mini candles that they sell. Um, I really really like the scent and for $7.99 that's not a bad deal I just want to point out that they are a lot smaller and these have been popular too. the beeswax blend candles I've seen these on the internet for $6.99 but do note that there is no fragrance speaking of fragrance here's your essential oils with the um, little uh, wool diffuser they have them in a bunch of different colors those are back this year and another thing that's back this year that I was really excited about is the macaron soap. 
Now these are not really like, um, they don't get, they don't foam up a lot. They're, they're very simple soaps. They don't have a very powerful scent. So something to try if you'd like that. This I regret not getting because I tend to do that to myself, but it's a body butter trio. I love a good body butter, especially in the winter. And this is a, a lip treatment combo there. Got that last year and I actually really liked it. And this is cool. This is a hand cream trio. I love the hand creams from there. If I don't get them at Bath and Body Works, I usually get them here. I was trying to look in so we could see what the scents are. Did that say avocado? Marula and I think coconut is what they are. And these little babies we're so excited to get for $2.99. You can get a mystery bag and you can get basically bags from around um, other Trader Joe's in the United States. So we definitely had to grab one of these. Spencer loved the faces on there. <laughs> he was laughing the whole time. I know I showed this in my last video, but here they are again is the Rainbow of Honey Jars. And this was cool. I don't remember seeing this, but that doesn't mean it wasn't here last year. It's the maple syrup. There's golden, amber, dark, um, with a robust taste, and then very dark. I'm really curious to try that. <laughs> this was something I had to grab last year. I think I bought a couple boxes of this, and I still have some. It's the Body Scrub Trio. This stuff was really great. I loved it. And of course, another thing that I bought multiple of is the face mask trio. I love these face masks. This is brand new that I know I haven't seen. It was uh, the tower of different cookie mixes. Hello. I'm so excited about that. This kind of baffled me a little bit, but it's a washable paper little uh, wine bag. Now I don't drink wine or alcohol of the sort, so it didn't interest me too much. Now these babies, hello. Those are a staple wanted to get them all and this just because look at the little coconut with a scarf look at him it's like he's got a face this was the last one I saw of these so if you happen to see them apparently they sell very well brand new it's a three layer spice cake with cream cheese frosting and they have those like frosted looking berries as a like a little embellishment on there so so cute to bring to a holiday party this is also something new. Um, it's an orange cake. I've been hearing a lot of good things about these from uh, people that I know that have found them at their Trader Joe's before we had them. And then these are delicious. If you haven't had these, these are kind of a Trader Joe's staple. They're really, really light. They're not some like heavy, thick cake. And a French apple tart. The glare right there was really bad, so I'm sorry about that but I wanted to get you like a better look. <laughs> and then, um, let's see, oh, these are the orange cardamom muffins. These are new, I, I believe they're new because I know I haven't seen them, so sometimes remember they could be new to my store. You know, that does tend to happen. These my grandma absolutely loves. They are on the sweeter side, a little bit more sweet than they are tart, but they're the raspberry shortbread cookies. Um, some people compare them to like those Knott's shortbread cookies if you've ever had those. A little look at the freezer section. Oh yeah, everything in there I want. And you have your hot cocoa, stirrable spoons. And then these I was looking for and I'm so happy I found them. It's a chocolate collection and everything looks so cute. I don't even know how I'd be able to eat it, but I think I'd find a way. And a pretty good price at that. I think it was, what was it, $3.99? Not a bad deal for all those chocolates. These are ginger snowball cookies. I personally haven't tried these yet. Again, not sure if they're new or whatnot. Um, but they look really good. And they, I mean, just the box alone. Like, the box could sell me. Then we have some chocolate ornaments. I think these are fantastic. I love that you can actually hang them on a tree and then just eat them. That whole box is $6.99. And they are hollow. I wanted to make sure to note that. And then this is cool, you can decorate holiday ornaments. It comes with eight cookies and the icing and some sprinkles. And again, you can actually hang them or you can eat them or both. And then this was a cute little snack mix. I was trying to read what was in it. There's like corn chips with flax seeds, honey roasted sesame sticks, 
Um, I like that step up to the snack bar for $4.99. And of course some chocolates, a good box of chocolates to bring uh, if you're going to hang out with someone. It says it's fine chocolate truffles with hazelnut. Oh yes, the chocolate peppermint loaf. Now I of course grabbed this. I think the, I'm probably going to have to go get another box because you could do a loaf or cookies and I must do both. These caught my eye, peppermint mini marshmallows. Can you imagine this on hot chocolate? Why I didn't buy these, I somehow ran out without them. What a dum dum I am. These are newer, they're Italian strawberries. So I guess the idea is like you could put them on pancakes or you know, ice cream. They also have it with cherries, but I did want to show you how cute the jars are. And speaking of cute packaging, the dog, <laughs> the gingerbread top, sorry. Look at him with this little gingerbread cookie in his mouth. <laughs> the box art on these are fantastic. But yeah, they're gingerbread dog cookies. I wanted to show you they also have the gingerbread and balsam scented candles. Now these are the regular sizes. There you can kind of see the size difference between the little trios and the normal um, candles. So those are $3.99 and $7.99 for the little ones. This is a, um, a ricotta cheese that um, we had last year or the year before, but it was a baked lemon ricotta cheese. So we got that and we're going to give that a try. And Spencer was really excited because he found Kyle the coyote. Look at him. We were cracking up because if you're looking at the caramels and the jellies, all you see is those cute little ears sticking up. What are you getting into, Kyle? What are you getting into? This was something I found new in the refrigerated section. It's a cauliflower and broccoli salad set. And this is a bunch of turkeys. We're getting ready. Look at that. They have a bunch of different sizes and options for you, organic, natural, probably a great place to get your turkey. Our homies at Trader Joe's are the best. Farewell. It was a great night to come back. And we're back. So these are the first two items that I was not going to leave the store without. I'm most excited to try this out because I love chocolate peppermint. It's one of my favorite things during the holiday season. And I'm most excited to try out making cookies out of them. I know you can make a loaf and that's probably the primary um, intention of it, but the cookies, they just totally scream Christmas and holidays to me. Then speaking of cookies, I really wanted to try this out. Um, they all look really good. I think the hardest part will be deciding which one to make first. We also decided to grab some of these hot chocolate sticks. I remember I found them in my first video, um, but we really wanted to try these uh, because there was probably only like five boxes left. And again, that could just have been a coincidence, but just in case, we made sure to grab these. And one of my favorite things to ever get during the holiday season, last year I bought probably, I think three boxes of these, but the face masks are my favorite. I love to take them on vacation. This one is my absolute favorite. It's the clay one. Um, it's just great because I have a more oily complexion, so I love to use this mask, and these are great for hydration. Finally, so happy I got this trivet thing. I wanted it so bad, the wool and the colors. I'm hoping that I can find one of the uh, black and gray, like monochromatic ones. Um, I don't know for sure if I'll be able to, but I'm happy to have at least gotten one. All right, I figured we would get a mystery bag set so that we could open it up and show you which bags we got. We did it because we liked the faces. <laughs> I think uh, this one was one of the ones Spencer liked was this guy. He's like, hey, and here's my barcode. So let's see what it says. Excuse us, no peeking. Oh, I do love a good mystery bag. And again, these were pretty popular last year. I remember like you couldn't find these at a certain time. Let's see what we got. Ooh, <gasps> these are great. So they're from all over. They could be from any place, anywhere. We got an Arizona bag. Nice. The graphics are great. So this one, these came from Arizona. Um, what is this one? Oh, this one's from here, I guess. Sunset, Hollywood. Avocados, if that doesn't tell you. I guess it kind of threw me off because I was like, where is this Sleepy Hollow Balsa Chica? So it's like uh, Santa Monica, the 66 there. 
That's what it says. And then this one's really pretty. This is from New Hampshire. That's gorgeous. Yay! So there is our three bags. I'm actually very happy. I like what we ended up with. <laughs> so here is the little Christmas tree I bought. It says that it needs full sun and you have to keep the soil nice and moist. I tried to decorate it. I will note that these little clothespin decorations, they can get a little bit heavy on the branches. So just be aware of that. You wanna try and get one with a little bit stronger branches. I'm really happy that we got this because it is darling and it's super unique. And we were not going to leave the store without getting this grump tree. I wanted it so badly last year, but by the time I got to the store, they had sold out. So he's now ours. I love him. And I guess um, this guy can grow to be about, what did it say, 30 or something feet tall. So I'm gonna take good care of him and he's gonna be ours for the holidays. He's a little Grinch tree. All right, well that wraps up everything we got. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look. Again, there's probably still more things coming out for the holidays um, and just winter in general, so I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, if you like these videos and you want me to continue making them, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Of course, you can always leave a comment below. If you wanna support Best Life and Beyond, you can become one of our Patreon members. I'll put all that information in the description box right there below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank